take the plunge and just not color anymore. Um, why? And mine is simple. I just got tired. <laughs> I get tired of coloring. Um, there's, you know, I don't have this wonderful, oh, I embrace my gray story. I don't. It's just I got tired. Yeah, it is. It's, it, sometimes I'm cool with it. Other times I'm like, I can't do this. So, yeah, there have been times when I've really been on the fence. Now what I've been trying to do is trying to find ways to style my hair. Um, really also trying to find ways to um, take care of my hair because my gray is so resistant and it's hard for it to hold the pattern that maybe the colored hair, you know, is used to holding. Hey guys, and that is our segue in. So today we are coming and uh, talking about gray hair. It's the beginning of the year. You know, everybody's making these amazing resolutions. Um, want to lose some weight, want to um, drink more water, want to do all these wonderful things. Um, which, in fact, I'm on that bandwagon too. Mine is more self-care. I want to start doing um, much better things for myself. Um, well, you know I've been on a fitness journey, so that's kind of just, we're going to continue that. But more of mental health, just to you know, try to keep myself mentally healthy because I think that's so important. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about gray hair. And then my title was gray hair. Was it all a trend? I mean, was it really a trend for some of you guys because of COVID and all of these other things? Or was it truly for some of you guys that you wanted to really embrace it, that you really wanted to be natural, totally natural. So I'll just kind of recap my reasonings for becoming gray. Um, as I said in the beginning, um, yeah, I got tired. I was tired of coloring my hair. Uh, it was just extremely um, taxing and I just didn't really want to do it anymore. So um, it's a little bit of primer. So I just decided to go ahead and just let the color go. I was like, okay, hey. I'm not going to worry about trying to either one, use box dyes, which are, um, I wouldn't recommend that, or um, have someone do it or continue to mix, which what is what I actually did myself, going with developer and all that stuff, mix your color up, you know, using good products. Did I want to continue with that? No, I didn't want to do it. So, for me, I just felt it was best to, to just give it a shot. Yeah, I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what people would think. I didn't know what they would say. Um, all of those things, you know, went through my head. So, I can definitely relate to... Um, a lot of you who are, you know, nervous about the process of going gray. Uh, this, I guess I've been gray now for, um, since 2016, I think that's right. Yeah, 16, so six years I have been doing this on this journey, so to speak. And so, you know, the question is, are there struggles? Do, are there times when I just want to 
you know, just color my hair and not continue on this journey. Um, honestly, I can tell you no. Um, because when I decided that I was going to do this, I was all in. So it wasn't just something where I was like, oh, you know, just overnight it was like, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna go great. No, it was not a hasty decision. It was something that I have been thinking about. Um, my uh, inspiration, I'll have to tell you honestly, my inspiration was my uncle, my father's brother. Um, he has a head full of white hair, it's just beautiful. And even though all of his hair was white, there was always this sense of style about him that I just admired so much. And I was like, here's a man who's embracing his gray, he's not complaining. I mean, he's just doing his thing, you know? Is that something that I think I could do? I, I, you know, it was just something I was mulling around in my head. I also went out on Facebook and I posted something about gray hair. I think I said, yeah, I'm on the fence, you know, possibly thinking about doing this gray hair thing. What do you guys think? Would you, you know, let your gray hair come through? Or would you color? Who's team color, who's team gray? Um, most people's responses were, no, I can't do it. But it was mainly, I can't do it, but it would probably look good on you. So I thought it was just very interesting to see, you know, what they would do. You know, is that something, you know, that would be acceptable? How, you know, how would their families respond? You know, and everything. I even asked my husband, I was like, what would you think if I just decided not to color my hair anymore and went gray? I would be fine with it. I mean, you know, that's that's up to you, but I would be okay. I think you look okay. He didn't say okay. He said, <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I should maybe tell you guys. I'm using Born This Way. These are the concealers and chestnut and caramel. So just kind of blending the two together. But um, so yeah, that's how. All of that kind of came about. What were my struggles with going to pray? Um, I can't say that I really had any real struggles. Um, spraying my brush just a little dry, so with a little bit of water. But um, I can't say there were really any struggles for me um, with making the decision. I think it was just a matter of, okay, are you gonna do this or are you not gonna do it? Because once you do it, there is no turning back. That was my mindset, okay? So it wasn't a, oh yeah, well, I think I wanna do it. or Oh yeah, I think so. And then once you get into it, it's like, oh gosh, I don't know. It was, you're doing this and that's it. But I do believe, like a lot of you, my biggest struggle was on those days where there wasn't makeup or my hair wasn't in the perfect twist out or, you know, I had myself all together just on, like today, like this. You know, there would be times when I'd go by the mirror and I'd be like, oh my gosh, you know, I look just old. And it was, it was a, a, me. It wasn't to anyone else. It was just, I looked old to me. That was difficult. That was a struggle. Um, I didn't have a lot of, um, like people say things like, oh my gosh, you know, why would you do that? If anything, it was more of a statement piece, like, wow, look at your hair. It was those types of things. So I didn't have any kind of negative feedback from people. Um, I just think that for me, it was from time to time, it was difficult to look at myself and be like, oh wow, you are really aging. And that's, that's kind of tough for us women to deal with. Um, you know, I'm thankful to be here. I'm thankful for the years. I hope they continue to pile on. 
but you know I'm not gonna fool myself I'm, aging is is difficult it is difficult and that's why we do so many things to look our best I mean look, I know we can't turn back the clock but you know if we can do things that are anti-aging you know if we can continue to do things that are healthy eat well whatever we can do to try to keep up that you know that healthy part of our lives um, to I guess that's sort of a trade-off for the years I think it was more so the struggle with me not necessarily with anyone else looking in that mirror and going wow I see it I see the sagging I see the wrinkles under the neck and in the forehead and now you gonna throw gray hair on top of it really girl seriously <laughs> that I'm gonna put a little bit of this yellow powder what about the good stuff you know what about the good stuff as far as going gray um for me I just think it's it has just been a natural progression from my hair which was pigmented and then the slow process of it having that natural color come in um, it's not just you know from color to BAM it was just the natural process and I am kind of glad that I just kind of let it transition in um, but and it's given me time to uh, I guess maybe to be able to accept that transition and I, I think it, it suits me it, it just works for me I don't think that it's um, anything that I will change. I'm used to seeing myself with my gray hair and I'm okay with it. I can maintain my own hair. Is it difficult? Oh yes, it's difficult. Don't let anyone tell you that going gray and going natural, well, I consider myself 100% natural because I'm color free and relaxer free or chemical free. So don't let anyone tell you, oh, it's just, no, it's, it is difficult because, you know, when your hair's in a natural state, and especially I have really tight, coily hair, it is. Now, um, especially in the back, it's just like, oh, these little tiny little curls. And, uh, you know, the, the, those little knots that you get, I'm trying to manipulate the hair so you get split ends. There's a lot of things that go on with natural hair. So yeah, that is, it's, it's not, not easy at all. Um, but for me, it's, I, I just like, I, I, I don't mind doing my hair. Um, I like the fact that I don't have to put anything in it. I can just wash it and style it and let it dry and, just do whatever I want to do with it because the process is it's a pretty simple process not easy but simple like I wash I condition I deep condition I style boom that's it I'm just gonna use my refer 25 it's a big huge powder brush Okay, so I've already talked about my struggles and all that other kind of stuff. So next would be what are my go-to products? Since this is a journey. I think you guys, well, for those of you that have been with me know that I do love melanin hair care. I can't say that enough. I love those products. I really do. And my other go-to, which I love, I haven't used my new stuff yet, but um, video coming soon on that. But I love Olaplex. So those two, Melanin and Olaplex, I love them. Um, I love that the zero and the number three, oh, love that and they now have this because um, the old 
bottle was just to squeeze and you'd have to squeeze it in. The one that they have now, is, it has a little trigger on it so you can spray it onto the hair. So I'm excited about using that. And they have like four different shampoos. So they have the regular four, number four. Then they have um, a, I guess it's like a purple shampoo for gray hair. And then they have a clarifying shampoo. So I'm really excited about using that as well. So I have used their products. So I'll link the video where I use pretty much every, <laughs> every one of the products. I'll link that video here if you guys want to see that. Um, but yeah, so those are pretty much my go-to products. So I use her shampoo as melanin hair care. I use the shampoo, the conditioner, um, or the deep conditioner, because there's that's the new product, the deep conditioner. Um, the leave-in conditioner, the um, elongating style cream, and the um, multi-use oil blend. Um, so yeah. I have scarves, I have it all, but yes, I, I, I have pretty much the whole line and I really do love those products, but yeah. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been seeing me lately here and I have been wearing um, hair pieces or clip-ins and uh, a wig. So, I mean, it's not gonna have a whole bunch, but I have a few pieces and uh, those are Miss Great products. Um, really cool because I was communicating with them and they were talking um, and they wanted me to try out some other products and I was like, yeah, it'd be great. I'd love to. Yeah, you know, there were some, you know, some things about the products that, um, you know, that we discussed because like with the wig that I wear, I'll pop a picture of it so you guys can see, um, you know, I was having an issue with the shininess of it. Just very, very shiny, um, which, to me, that doesn't look very natural. So, you know, we've been talking and um, trying to figure out ways to make the hair not so shiny. And I know there's a process and everything that they go through, but you know, of course they took down, you know, my, um, my concerns and, you know, just like anyone who has concerns. They take it to their people, they discuss, see if there's anything that they can do to make it better. But as of right now, I've really been enjoying their pieces. Um, it's a, it's definitely a convenience for me because if I, my hair isn't done, um, my only go-to before I started using their wigs and pieces was to put my hair up in a scarf, my only solution. So having those pieces, knowing that I can wear those, um, and I think they look nice. I really do. So that has been a really nice go-to for me using Miss Great Wigs. I don't know if I've told you guys or mentioned this Issa mascara, but this mascara is bomb. I love this mascara. It is nice. Yeah, it's um, Isom. It's called Isom the Mascara. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's called Isom the Mascara. <sighs> All their stuff is nice. Their liners have their liners. They have lip, eye, eye shadow sticks. I mean, yeah, those things are nice. So let's try to do something with the gray hair. What I did today was um, I use a steamer. I notice that my hair wants to be washed like, like every five days 
or less, she'd be like, okay, it's time. If I can get anything to work here. And y'all know I say that a lot. Let me see if I can get something to work here. All right. Ooh. Um, I cut it again. Because um, I had just gotten so frustrated with the, um, especially the back of it. I just wanted the back of it to be shorter. So I did. I went in and and cut some more of it just to kind of even it out a little bit more. I think it looks a whole lot better. Okay, so maybe I'll change into a little something. Okay, I think we're just gonna keep it simple. And we're just gonna do the lip gloss, so. But thank you guys so much for stopping by, listening to me rant. That's my light. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me rant. Um, for those of you that are still in the gray club congratulations i know you all are beautiful and i am here to support that and i love it for those of you that may have had some you know change of heart or it just didn't work out for you it's okay it is okay as long as you are comfortable with the image that you are putting forth that is all that matters okay so, but anyhow, until next time, happy new year. I wish you guys the best year yet. I really do. And I thank you for your support. And um, let's just keep doing this thing, all right? We'll see you in the next one.